Hey, welcome back guys, 80 squared back with the second installment of my series on how to package and bundle your Java applications uh, to be distributable to your clients or your friends or wh whomever you're building this application for. So last time we left off um, after creating our runnable jar, but it's only executable through the command line. And let's face it, nobody wants that, right? So um, what we're going to do today, we're going to use a program called Launch4j. It's free to use. It's open source. You can get it at this website. Uh, uh, the link is going to be in the description box. Uh, just click here, download. Once it's on your computer, uh, you can launch it. Launch4j. Uh, here it is. Uh, I'm going to walk you through it. It looks a little bit complicated, but, but uh, it's it's really not. So we're gonna select our jar. Just um, navigate through your to, through your folders to your uh, application you want to bundle. We are going to select where we want to output the exe file. Uh, we're just gonna leave in the same folder, and we're gonna name our file so test application.exe. All right. So if you have an icon you want to be displayed on desktops um, and in the taskbar, you can select it here. It's, it has to be an ICO file. So if you have one, use it. Um, I usually check this. So restart the application after it crashes. Don't worry about this. We are not going to need that today since we're going to bundle our own runtime environment with our executable jar. So don't worry about this or that. If you want to limit the number of instances, your application can be run at the same time, meaning only one is allowed. You can check this and write the name of your application here uh, and the title. Just just write like uh, test application and write it again. Sorry, let's just, for example. And then here in JRE, this is the runtime environment. Just write JRE. If you have a splash screen, you want to be displaying uh, if you're loading your app. So if you double click on the application and you want it to have a load screen with your logo or whatnot, you can select it here. I never use it because I've never gotten it to work properly. It always crashes. So if anybody has a solution for this, uh, leave it in the comments below. In version info, you can fill this up. This is going to be the um, information displayed if you right click on an application and go to properties. And go to properties. This is what you write to be displayed. So without we don't need anything else, I think. So we're just going to save this as a config file. If we needed to use it again in the future, save and click the gear. Uh, once you do, successfully created, here is our runnable application. If you double click on it, however, right now, it's not going to work, right? Because it's requiring, we, we told it to use a Java runtime environment located in a folder named JRE. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So create a folder, call it JRE. It's extremely important that it remains in the same folder as our application. So navigate to your JDK. In my case, I am using Amazon Coretto, which is the version of Java JDK uh, development kit released by Amazon. It's free to use. You can use whatever you want, whatever you have. Copy the entire content of the JDK. Go back to your JRE folder that you created and paste the entire thing in there. It's going to take a bit. Um, I'm sure not all these files are required, but just to make sure that nothing goes wrong, I'm pasting the entire thing. So if you double click your app now, you got a runnable exe file that is double clickable. So now we're getting somewhere, right? 
this is what you want basically when you're creating an application you want to distribute it people double click on an app on the desktop and it works right why is it so complicated in 2020 somebody has to have an answer for that right so I'm gonna show you what you can run into if you distribute this because if you rename the JRE file to anything or move this folder you get the error again so re rename it to JRE it works now again yeah let's make sure so now you got your application in the next tutorial um, I am going to show you how to um, create an installer that will take care of the files for us uh, this is launch for J and if you go there there's our app all right so if I try to open another one it's limited to one instance so you can't open another one while this one is running so this is what we wanted right boom so hope uh, this helps thanks for watching in the next installment I'm gonna show you how to bundle this into an installer file that can be distributable and the um, installer will take care of everything for us it's gonna package and uh, place the right files in the right places so hope you enjoyed see ya